Hi. When I'm standing in front of people, I always get reactions like these. People are very confused by what I do. They experience a lot of negative emotions and of course they react accordingly. And the reason for this, because in my profession I mix illusion and reality. But the huge paradox is, the more negative emotions they experience, the better they like it and the better they're going to remember it. And that's one of the key values of magic. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the art of magic is designed to elicit negative emotions, such as confusion, bafflement, and from time to time also loss of control. I would even say, without negative emotions, there would be no magic. Because in order to make impossible things seem to be possible, I need to break with the ordinary. I need to lie on you. I need to come up with fake news or at least alternative facts. And of course, all this provokes negative emotions. But the question that raises, are negative emotions always negative? And if not, under which circumstances are they made enjoyable? I think above all in the current situation, the corona crisis, it's an interesting point to look at. In my opinion, there are two main benefits of negative emotions. First and foremost, negative emotions are extremely memorable. They are burned in our memory. And second, people not only like, no, they love negative emotions as long as the environment is safe. Let me start by sharing with you why negative emotions are so memorable. We all know and may marvel that the stories we tell over and over again tend to focus on what went wrong. But in our lives, on our holidays, in our childhood. There are so many bad experiences, but most of them make up for a very good memory. I, for example, still remember very well that we were held in the basement of a club in Istanbul, and that's almost 20 years ago. Some strange guys wanted us to buy our way out. And I'm quite sure that you're familiar with the phrase, Houston, we have a problem. Well, Apollo 13 was not a particularly successful mission, but Apollo 13 elicited a lot of negative emotion and it's therefore burned in our memory. And the secret to this lies in our brain, because our brain handles positive and negative information differently. Professor Baumeister from the University of Queensland says, bad impressions and bad stereotypes are quicker to form and more resistant to this confirmation than good ones. So we recall so-called bad memories more easily and in greater detail. And that of course is also one of the reasons why we remember magic tricks from time to time, still after years or even decades. Let's move to the second point, the seeming paradox, the enjoyment of negative emotions. But how is this possible? Let me come back to my Istanbul story and also Apollo 13. Looking back, there are kind of cool memories. And the reason for this is that nothing serious happened. And it's also the key condition for the enjoyment of negative emotions. But we love to experience bafflement, confusion, and also loss of control, as long as the environment is safe. Our caveman brain delights if something challenges the laws of nature and nobody gets hurt and the earth keeps spinning. That's also one of the reasons why quite a few of you enjoy watching horror movies, because we love those fears, as long as they are harmless and non-threatening. Hence, you probably agree with me that most of us 
don't like to be fooled. But the majority of us are also enjoying a good magic trick. In the field of magic, there's something else that comes into play. People seem to be happy if they are unhappy, and they seem to be unhappy if they are happy, in the context of magic tricks. What, confusing? Well, let me explain. If I reveal a magic trick, meaning if I tell people for real how it's done, most of the time people are disappointed, mainly because of two reasons. First of all, they think it must have been clever and it actually is in their opinion. And second, and more important, they lose the sense of wonder. Because although a vast majority of us does not believe in real magic powers, we watch to believe that impossible things could be true. Because that's not only more fun, no, it keeps alive our sense of wonder and astonishment. Today is a kind of a special day, and for, for me it's also kind of a special place. Because of this, I'm going to reel a trick. I'm going to show you a trick, so you will have something cool to show your friends, and also you will hopefully experience those feelings. And it was one of the first tricks I've learned when I was like about eight years old, more or less. Oh, all you need is handkerchief. And you start by putting the handkerchief in your hand. You just stuff the handkerchief all the way in. It gets smaller before it vanishes completely. You blow on it and it transforms into an egg. And well, well, the handkerchief well, no, it's not gone, but it traveled all the way into my pocket. Well, the trick looks quite good from your side. It doesn't look as good from my side. When I turn around, it's easy to spot. It's a hollow egg, and I just stuffed the handkerchief in. Now, please be honest, you thought it's, it, that is something clever. So all you need, it's a hollow egg, of course, please take the content out, and one handkerchief and a second handkerchief. The two handkerchiefs, preferably the same color. So you start with one handkerchief in the left hand pocket, then you put the egg in your right hand pocket and the handkerchief on top. You stand in front of the audience, you take a deep breath and you reach into your pocket to get the handkerchief. Here we go. Well, that's also half of it. Of course you also take out the egg, hidden in your palm. In magic that's called palming. Now, you wave over your hand like this and then you drop the egg from one hand into the other. So we transfer the egg from here to there. And then you start by putting the handkerchief into the egg. You just put it in, push it down like this. From behind it looks like this. Continue. Of course it gets smaller, what is good. And you put it all the way in, you just stuff it all the way down. In magic, it's called stuffing the handkerchief into the egg. You blow on it, and two, here is the egg. And you reach into the pocket and you show people that the handkerchief has traveled all the way to your pocket. You take a bow, you take the applause, and you're done. Well, of course. Never show the egg from the other side. Ah, easy as that. That's it for the trick. But wait, that's not it for my talk. Because, of course, I don't want you to fool people. No, that's not my goal. But please bear in mind, our caveman brain delights if something challenges the laws of nature and provokes 
negative emotion such as confusion. Because people not only like, no, they love to experience negative emotions as long as the environment is safe. And that sure as X is X.